Hello. Today I thought I would share a couple of jewel ringers I put together my first try. They worked out pretty good. This is one I found online and it worked quite well. It's uh, parts out of a Fuji one-time use camera, the little transformer and the transistor. Delicate little operation getting them out. What I did is I uh, soldered little legs on each one of the terminals to make them longer on the transistor and the uh, tra uh, transformer. They worked out very well, very good indeed. When I when I uh, find these online, I always make my own drawing of it. It's a little easier for me to understand when I use my own drawing. This one over here is a laser saber version of it. I put it together exactly like he got it there. Maybe the only difference is here's my drawing here. Uh, my little bipolar coil I put together is right there. It's two and a half inches tall. It's got six wraps of 30 gauge wire on it. 5.8 core, air core. And I've got the IN60 diodes in this one. It also has a throwaway uh, camera parts from the Fuji in it. The Fuji is pretty durable. I tried the Kodak and they're very uh, difficult to work with. They're pretty fragile. They break easily, especially the transformer. Uh, I did a little test run on. I'm going to take this off a of flower. Okay. I'll show you. I'll turn this one on. I very the little switch down here. <laughs> you can see it works very good. I simply uh, gutted these bases in here and hooked the two wires from the base right to the fluorescent tubes, soldered them on there, and it, that worked out real nice. Nice and bright. That's a 20, uh, 4 watt. And over here on this one, I've got one of the Lights of America in there with about 28 LEDs. And I rigged up a little switch for it too here. See, it really shines it up. I have them both uh, running off of two AA batteries. You can see them or not. I run a little test on them. What I did is I took uh, two CFLs, 10 watts, and I put it in each of the lights, each of the circuits. And I ran this one here. This one has no bipolar coil, coil at all. And this one has a bipolar coil over here. But the one with no bipolar coil, it ran for 12 hours with two fully charged AA batteries. This one over here with a bipolar, it ran for 27 and a half hours. It draws a whole lot less current <laughs> than this one over here, even though they both had exactly the same watt bulbs in them. The way it turned out, they turned out pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with them. Just thought I'd share them with you. Uh, the, but if you're going to build one of these, I would recommend you get one of them one-time use Fuji cameras. That works. Uh, the parts are much much better in it, much more durable than they are in the Kodak cameras. I have a couple of them here that I'm going to play around with eventually. A couple of Kodak throwaway cameras tried one didn't have any luck <laughs> well anyway I just wanted to share them with you it worked out good now I'm moving on I'm gonna go to the Slayer Exciter I've got one pretty well built I actually even have it working but I'll do a video on that later and I'll share that with you thanks very much for watching have a nice day